In today's video, I'll be showing you the five intelligent flight modes of the DJI Phantom 3 standard, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Dennis. On this channel, you'll find drone and product reviews, so if you're new here, consider subscribing. Oh, by the way, at any point during this video, do check out my notes down at the YouTube description below. I'll list down the five intelligent flight modes and anything else that I forget. So the Phantom 3 standard has five intelligent flight modes. There's the follow me mode, there's a waypoint, there's a course lock, there's a home lock, and points of interest. You can also find these five intelligent flight modes on the newer drones, such as the Phantom 4, the Mavic Pros. If you want to find a little bit more, do check out the DJI website before purchasing a drone. To enable the intelligent flight mode to logged into DJI app go to the top right hand corner click on that one and scroll down a bit and look for advanced settings click on that one and there should be a section there for intelligent flight mode you just need to turn it on once that's been on on your DJI controller well for this one for the Phantom 3 standard you just need to hit all the way down that should enable the intelligent flight mode on flight. First off is the follow me mode. Basically it's following you or following, the drone's following something. It could be you, it could be a particular location in the map uh, that you put in. You definitely need a very strong GPS signal to be able to pull this off. And also there's a minimum altitude requirement which I believe is about 10 meters. As you can see in this video, how uh, yeah, it's, I'm trying to stay at the follow me mode. It's it's a nice to have. I don't really use the follow me mode as much. It's not as intuitive as I want it to be. Next one is course lock. What is course lock? Basically, to make it simple for you, it's locking the course of the direction of where your drone is going. Let me put it this way, uh, visually. So. I've got my Sigma drone here. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this drone, do check it out. Anyway, normally when you fly a drone, if you move forward, this will move forward. If you move backward, you move backward. If you rotate to the left, or sorry, to the right, if you move forward, you'll move forward like this, backward like this. With course lock, what it does is say this is the front of your drone. Now, it locks the course one direction, right? So if you're moving forward like this, regardless whether you tilt to the left or to the right, it will still maintain its direction by moving forward. So you can tilt, basically what it does, you can tilt it like this. Going in one direction and you can make a 360 turn and then it's still gonna go up. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Here's a couple of sample videos I've done. I use this from time to time, especially if I know I have a good line of sight of where I'm heading. Therefore, I can rotate sort of the drone and be able to give you, you know, to be able to visualize where I'm heading and stuff. So it's pretty nice features to have. Again, you really need to be careful because you really need to make sure that your line of sight is clear and you don't want to end up, say, let's say there's you're moving forward and you, hit, you know, you're twisting it. You can't really see. You can only see here from your camera angle but you can't really see whether there's a, you know, a three or something in there. And then, yeah, I think that's, so that's why you need to be careful and you make sure that you have clear line of sight. Home lock, it's kind of like course lock, but it locks you within the radius of your home. Probably use it once. Uh, here's a sample video. I'm not gonna go too much detail of it. Basically, it kind of locks you in a radius within your home base where you launch the, your drone, for example. This is, your, this is where you are, the home base, and this is where your drone you know, it will sort of hover, regardless whether sort of different orientation, regardless of your orientation, if you tilt, say, if you launch from, even if you tilt the right, it will just go right there, regardless of your orientation. So it's kind of locked to your home. Hopefully that gives you an idea. I don't really use home lock. Uh, I'll put in a little bit of description down below and some links so that might give you an idea what it is. Next up is points of interest. I use points of interest quite regularly, especially if I'm seeing a particular sort of landmark that I want to circle around, it can be really useful. It's to enable you to don't worry about drone movements. You see the ability to focus on the camera settings, you know, whether you want to take a shot or or, you know shooting a video in a particular you know angle without worrying about flying uh, there needs to be a minimum radius distance and also the altitude height you can see here and what it does you need to be able to circle it around to a particular sort of landmark you know automatically fly within that particular space 
It's a good thing about the points of interest, you can control the speed and the duration, so you can make it as fast as you want or as slow as you want. You can even have you know multiple loops just so that you can cover all angles. Again, it's really, really useful. I, I do use it from time to time, so hopefully that gives you an idea what points of interest is. But the last one, it's probably my most favorite one, is the waypoints. Probably the most useful one so far to me, along with the points of interest. You know, it's really good if you plan your shots so or plan where you're flying. You can pinpoint particular areas and then the drone will go there on each specific waypoint. You can control the speed, whether you want it slower or faster. Pretty handy tool, especially if you're covering large sort of landscape area, you want to take a video or a photo with. Without worrying about flying drone, it will automate it for you and you can concentrate in taking those nice shots, taking those you know quality videos or quality angle shots that you're looking for. So. Waypoints is probably for me is the one that I've used a lot of times, multiple times. Hopefully this gives you an idea what the waypoint feature is. Question of the day, which intelligent flight modes do you like? Is it the waypoints, point of interest, home lock, course lock, could be one of the newer intelligent flight modes that's been released for the Mavic Pros. Comment down below, we'd love to hear it from you. That's really it for me, thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Again, this is Dennis and I'll see you all next time down everything about the f modes for the and I'll list down every